Yes, the party of fiscal responsibility, yeah, the, the party that's uh, pro-business, pro-worker. Um, yeah, they, they, they forgot how accounting, I guess, is supposed to work. I, I'm not making this up. Um, several, several state Republican parties are going bankrupt. Yeah, we're going out of business sale. Oh, maybe they're going to have a go to get a business sale at these Republican Party headquarters. They can put out all their Trump paraphernalia. Ah, mark it down. Mark down all your Trump paraphernalia down. Maybe get Mike Huckabee out there. You ever see that, that, that guide he's pushing on Fox News? The, the Trump guide for kids. Again, you couldn't make this crap up if you wanted to. And you wonder why these fools are going bankrupt. Um, Arizona and Michigan. Two states where, um, again, uh, yeah, you're going to need the, uh, you need the, the, the suburban voters to, to come out, uh, in order for Republicans to get back in the White House in order to win. Um, the state Republican parties are running critically short on money in Arizona. The state GOP has just $14,800 left in the bank at the end of August. You know, the, the funny thing is, these these party workers, these people that run the party, um, again, they're, they're political hacks. They're political hacks. They don't have any business acumen. You, you could have an actual, like, true conservative business owner say, hey, listen, I'm going to take over the party. I'm going to run it. You're all fired. They would never allow that. Because they're, they're continuing to get paid. They, they got to get their ridiculous paychecks, justify their ridiculous salaries for their stupid rallies that they hold all the time. Uh, in Michigan, the state Republican Party had 93000 in its bank accounts. Um, now, this, that, that was actually back in July. I think we reported on that here. And we did. We did report upon it here in the podcast. Now, it's close to zero. Where, where, where's the money going? Um, yeah, this is, again, this is, um, an attorney hired by a GOP activist in only a matter of a few months, the party's essentially non-functional and worse yet, the party and others associated with the party are now facing potential civil and criminal consequences for breaking laws. Huh? Huh? Um, oh, yep. Uh, Minnesota, uh, also struggling financially. They have uh, $53.81 in their bank account, and they also have $335,000 in debt. Uh, Colorado is in deep trouble. Uh, the GOP in Massachusetts has more than $400,000 in debts to vendors and less than $70,000 in the bank. Now, Florida... Florida, the latest to join the list of near broke Republican parties. And again, they're dealing with their problem with uh, this. Yesterday, they voted out the head of uh, the Republican Party, Christian Ziegler. Um, I used to have Christian Ziegler on my radio program. He wasn't the head of the Republican Party at the time. This is going back to when I had a uh, drive time radio program in Florida. And he, he, he stopped coming on. He stopped coming on the program because my questions were too difficult. He didn't, he didn't like the fact that I was asking tough questions. He was upset. He was upset. I, I wasn't, I wasn't throwing the ball soft enough for them to hit it out of the park. Schmucko. And if you actually look into the story, it's, it's embarrassing. It, it's embarrassing. And it involves, he, his wife, and three ways, and his wife is founder of Moms for Liberty, and she's also on the Sarasota school board. It's, it's a mess. But anyway, Florida. Florida's growing like gangbusters, people moving there from all over the place. Yet, for some reason, the Republican Party is essentially broke. Oh, I, I can go on. I can go on. And again, these are the people we're supposed to trust to govern. No. No, at, at some point in time, some point in time, um, you need to let the adults take over. P 
people that are actually accomplished in the things that we do. To be fair, stop asking for me for money, okay? Because you don't know what the hell to do with it in the first place. We can buy another Trump t-shirt? Please. Watchdog on wallstreet.com.